What is up guys, this is the Pikawoo here, bringing you another black and white Wi-Fi battle. This one is against the Dashing Hero from the TPX Zat Chat, really awesome guy, his link will be in the description below. Now I'm bringing back some of my older sets, such as my Specs and Mega in this battle, so I hope you guys enjoy. A lot of you guys have been asking me to use that um, Yan Mega again, so here it is. Um, this ended up being a really fantastic battle, so I hope you guys enjoy. Now he's going to lead off with a Star Raptor. I'm still going to stay in despite the fact that he might outspeed me and take me out with a Brave Bird. But actually he ends up being slower than me. Maybe he is adamant nature or he's not carrying max speed EVs or whatever the case. I am going to take him out in one shot with an Air Slash. So that was really awesome. Now he's going to go into his Stoutland here. I'm okay with that. Um, I'm predicting the wild charge here, and he ends up going for the retaliate, which I totally forgot about the time that most Stoutlands carry that move. So, um, my Needle King is going to get one-shotted as well. So, I am going to go into my Bi Sharp here to set up a Rock Polish, knowing that the the opposing thing, the Stoutland, can't do much to a Bi Sharp. And setting up too early isn't really the best decision I made. But um, luckily for me, he is going to overpredict. He's going to go for the Stone Edge, predicting me to go into Yen Mega to take a Earthquake. So that worked out perfectly. His key misplay is going to cost him his own Whisk Cash. Right here, he's going to go into a Toxic Croak. I am just going to go for the Iron Head just to deal some damage before he takes me out. But actually, he is a specially based one, and he actually sets up the Nasty Plot, which is kind of weird. Don't really know why he didn't go for the Vacuum Wave. Um, that turn before, but yeah, now I'm predicting the vacuum wave here, but he ends up going for the focus blast, which kind of questions me what he's kind of doing. Don't really know what he's doing. Does he have priority or not? It, I'll, I'll never know, but I'll take him out with a bug buzz with a Yen Mega, so that, that works out perfectly as well. Yen Mega is going beast mode, took down two Pokemon, really nice. So now he goes back into his Stoutland. I'm still thinking he's scarfed. So um, I am going to switch out. I'm going to go into my Heatran because I know I resist pretty much every move from Stoutland. Since Stoutland's move pool isn't really that great and it gets walled by a lot of Pokemon, especially Steels. So um, I can set up a sub freely on the switch. And um, I am a sub Torment Tran. And what Torment does is if I use it, the opponent can't use the same move twice. So that would work out. Um, really nicely, especially in this case, because Slow King, with Torment um, in action, he won't be able to go for the Scald two times in a row. So I can set up a sub as he doesn't go for the Scald, and um, that's going to work out nicely. And then I can protect on the turn he does go for the Scald. So I can pretty much wall this Slow King um, to, to ages, pretty much. So I go for the sub here. He's going to go for the Scald. I'm going to set up another sub So um, against a Psychic or a Thunder Wave. And then I'll be able to pretty much fully wall him and go for the Lava Plume and start burning some things. And that's pretty much what it does. It walls stuff and then it burns stuff. And this Heatran is probably one of my favorite Heatran sets. It is one of, a, one of those Smogon sets, but it's one of those more interesting ones to use. Now, I go for the Lava Plume. First turn, I get the burn. Really perfect. I usually never get the burn, especially when it's only a 30% chance, so... That was absolutely epic. Now, I am going to switch out, and I am going to go into my Yen Mega to take a Scald, and I know I can take it, um, because Slow King doesn't really have the best special attack, especially when it's a support set, and I know it's a, su it's a support set because it carries the Thunder Wave. And, yeah, he's going to get a crit. I guess it doesn't matter that much. But um, I can just go into my, my Executor, go for the Energy Ball because it's Stab, super effective, and it doesn't quite take him out despite the fact that I am max special attack. And Executor does have some beast special attack. Anyways, um, that tells me he's probably max HP, max special defense. I am just going to take him out one more in the next turn. And he does go for the Fire Blast. So that was really interesting. You don't really see that... Um, that move quite often on a Slow King, but I guess it works out on the 5th generation because of all the Notores in the metagame. 
So yeah, it's gonna actually take me down to Starf range, and this is my Starf Executor again. So really awesome. Hopefully I go for the I can go for the protect. Maybe get a speed boost or a evasion boost. Evasion boost would be awesome. And if I do get that, um that might be able to save me and attempt a sweep despite the fact that I am paralyzed. So I went for the protect once more, hoping to get evasion boost if the protect succeeds. But unfortunately it does fail. And um, he's going to take me out with an Ice Beam. Now I go into Bisharp here to scare him out with the Sucker Punch. I want to scout out if he has the uh, Lovely Kiss or not. Because, uh, yeah, I just wanted to see if he had the Lovely Kiss or not. Because he would go for it against my Sucker Punch. But I guess he doesn't. Now, um, he goes for the Hidden Power. I'm guessing it's Hidden Power Fighting. And then he's going to take me out with the Psychic. I was kind of surprised um, that Psychic was be going to be a one-hit KO. Because... Uh, him on top does have some beastly special defense stats. Now I'll go for the protect just to see what his last move is. And um, he ends up going for the uh, wish. So now we know he has wish, hidden power, uh, psychic, and ice beam. And I am just going to go for the lava plume just to burn stuff or take down that jinx. But um, yeah, I get the crit burn, so I'm getting really lucky here. But the burn doesn't, or the crit doesn't really matter because he gets his wish up. And I know. He can't really do much with his uh, Stoutland, but for some reason I outspeed him. So all this time I thought he was Scarfed, but he ends up not being Scarfed because he's slower than my Heatran. So really weird because um, um, if he wasn't Scarfed, I wasn't going to switch out. Um, I, I would have just done different stuff, but it's okay. Anyways, I am going to take that down, and his last Pokemon is his Jinx. And Jinx, um, I guess... Because he gets pretty much walled by Heatran. He can't do much to me. So, um, yeah, that's his last Pokemon. I am going to get a burn. So, oh my gosh, this Heatran is going beast mode. Burning everything despite the 30% um, chance. But, yeah, so pretty much that will be the end of the game. I will take him down with one more of those Lava Plumes. And that will be good game. So, really awesome battle. Really Had a really fun time using my Heatran. It was actually really successful in this battle. And I was... Really, um, happy to use him. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, you liked my Spexian Mega and some newer pokes I made, such as this Rock Polish by Sharp. I'll be using more of those Pokemon later. But if you guys enjoyed, feel free to click the thumbs up. And this is the Pikachu here signing out. Until next, until next time. Peace out, guys. Um.